always been beautiful. And the only thing missing is you not believing. It doesn't matter what they say or what they think, for they will never stop unless you sink. But not once did they guess that you can defy gravity. If clouds can chase away calamities, then there's no way you can't chase your dreams. Honey, you must let them know that you owe nothing to them. They don't have any choice but to welcome the sky with or without your rainbow. student taking a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. I was a little indecisive back then and I was busy figuring out whether to take Radiologic Technology or BS in Biology. I basically wanted to stay in the field of medicine but I didn't want to be a nurse or a doctor so I was looking for other options. And while I was caught in the middle of that confusion, my mother told me about BS Psychology. She was like, oh, how about this course? Because a lot of her colleagues and friends also took up that course. And basically, I can uh, take up clinical psychology and work at a hospital. So I did my research and I instantly fell in love with it. It was my own choice to pursue this course on my own because I felt the great need to understand and be understood better. And it was a perfect fit for me, especially with the life and the people that I have right now. Choosing this course was, and still is, the perfect or the right choice for me. So, a piece of advice, choose a course that if you don't love yet, you know you'll learn to love eventually because at the end of the day you've got to love what you do in order to commit to it properly and otherwise you're going to make yourself suffer at some point. One thing that I always say to myself is to be open-minded, be understanding because not everyone will agree to what you say and you have to respect that. My discarte would also be to not be afraid of asking questions. Of course, it shouldn't be during exams, but it doesn't matter what other people say or they'll judge you about it. What's important is that your questions get answered. Don't be afraid to speak your thoughts. Of course, it should be done politely. And also, choose your college friends wisely because you influence one another. It's better to stick to friends who share the same goal as you. Another discarte that I would like to share with you guys is to discover your best stress reliever. And Make sure that that stress reliever would not turn into a distraction. When a lot of things are going on with our studies and it feels like it's all too much for us to handle, it's important that we know how to cope up with these stresses. For me, my stress reliever would be my hobbies. I would write a poem or even paint. It's all up to you. You should just take a break, either talk to your family or your friends or just treat yourself with something nice. Again, it's all up to you. If high school were like practice matches, college is a brutal battle. During my freshman year, 
I didn't really have any clear goal and time management was a problem for me because I didn't really know what to do except to pass all my subjects and maintain my social life. Halfway through it, I transferred schools and again, it's important for us to cope up with changing environments, otherwise it'll stress us out a little bit too much. So it was hard for me to find friends who I can constantly study with. One big challenge for me is surviving through three hell weeks in one semester where I would pull all-nighters despite studying prior to examination weeks because we can't afford that one wrong answer how much more a lot. First on the list of study habits plus tips would be to make a schedule. As a college student, it is important for me to make plans and a lot of time for every activity that I do. It is also important that we follow them. And a lot of us, yes, are guilty for not following them. So we should always follow our schedules in order to keep track and of course, not procrastinate. So if you're lazy like me, and uh, you don't really want it to write schedules on paper or your notebook you can always use your phone and there are a lot of apps nowadays that you can use to keep track on your schedules second tip would be to know your style of studying and develop study skills it's your choice it all depends on you whether you like to study alone because the peace and quiet helps you focus or you can join study groups where you can share notes and discuss them with each other you can also combine these two types or styles whether you study alone beforehand and then join study groups later on or vice versa whatever makes you feel comfortable the last tip I want to share with you guys is to take good care of yourselves, and I mean holistically. We college students don't get enough sleep, food, and the luxury to relax pretty much most of the time, especially on Hell Week. But it is important for us to squeeze in some snacks, naps, and me time on our schedule. Otherwise, we'll burn out and it's never a good idea. Lastly, I just wanted to say to you guys that in order for you to survive college is you have to believe yourself and your capabilities. For me, I am really thankful for the people that helped me grow to who I am today and Sir Eric was one of them. He was not only a mentor but also a friend who helped me hone my talents and skills that are really useful to where I am now. So. I am eternally grateful for that. And yeah, trust yourself and your capabilities for they will lead you to greater heights. Believe that no matter how hard it is right now, it will all pay off in the end. And the most important thing to remember is that you're not alone in this battle. Besides your families and your friends, God is always there for you. If it all falls apart, it falls apart into his hands. So give all your worries, all your fears, all your anxiety to God because He loves you and He cares for you. He will be with you every step of the way. Just believe, enjoy the journey, and rejoice when you reach the destination. I had a great time with you today. Thank you so much for listening. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. Thank you.